Hello my dear Sagittarians, welcome back again. It's been such a long time. I know I prom uh, promised you guys to be back soon, but eh, soon didn't really work for me at all. I was so, so super busy and I'm sure you guys have been very busy as well, trying to get everything organized, all right? Yesterday was the full moon. So solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, I'm sorry, in Capricorn. So there was a lot of purging out. So I'm sure you felt the intense energy. Um, today, it feels like a Monday because it feels like all has been released. That's why I just wanted to wait until this eclipse and, and the full moon is over so we can just start up with a clean slate. All right. For majority of you, you may have been working a lot on your business plan, your long-term goals and putting the intention, right? Even if it's not the Capricorn full moon, the energy was there, whether you want it or not. It was all about like determination, plans, goals, like everything that was in the area of Capricorn, it came onto the service. So I hope you guys made, made time to work on that as well. It has been quite some for some weeks on the team, right? On the schedule, I'm sorry. So let's just see what we have going on for my dear Sagittarius. We got two cards out here. Woo. Got the moon and the six of cups, and we got the ten of cups. So there were some uncertainties about oh the ace of cups. I'm so sorry, it's the ace of cups, not the Six of Cups, but I just saw the Six of Cups in the pre-shuffle, so that's why I was just thinking about it. Um, there has been a lot of purging out and a lot of, you know, fearful energies, whether you want, you, you're going to receive new love or whether you're going to have a reconciliation or there was a lot of healing when it comes to your heart chakra that happened in, during this moon eclipse so there was a lot of purging out like i said with the moon and the ace of cups that is like clearing out the, the negative space the toxicity or any negative vibrations emotions or any patterns that were restricting you in order to release that with the ace of cups and this this could be like consciously, but this could have also been subconsciously. So perhaps you had a lot of nightmares or, you know, weird dreams that happened, but it was all for the better. Sometimes we get scared of the moon energy, you know, because it's all dark, it's all hidden, it's all, it's all beneath the surface, right? So you don't know how, why you feel a certain way, or you feel like very low or depressed, or, you know, there could be a lot of anxiety that comes up, which is all related to your, to your subconscious that needs to be purged out. So this is a very good sign for you guys to know that you, whatever you went through during that moon phase, it was all the purging out so that you can experience a new love or experience more, you know, compassion within your heart and release those fears and you go jump into the Ten of Cups. So there is there is definitely huge progress within your emotional state that is going on. All right. There is the Ten of Cups. There is a lot of emotional fulfillment and happiness. Also considering someone else, it could be also your um, it could be having like some family issues, which is now going to be resolved or is like now in the midst of resolving. This is the cycle. This is the process, right? With the moon. So you could have put those intentions with the new moon and it's now actually coming into fruition for you. All right. This is the six of swords at the bottom of the deck. So whatever was stuck mentally within yourself or you couldn't make progress because you were just overthinking a lot, there is now actually peace. What I'm seeing, this is like actual peace, peace of mind, peace with the situation, peace with a particular person, just peace, you know, and that's something that is very rare sometimes, like, especially if you're in that anxiety mood, the peace with the situation is, is, is not always easy, right? I also see a lot of Pisces energy here. I got twice Pisces. So there is, there could be a Pisces from the past that wants to work on things, that want to offer a new, you know, some kind of a reconciliation or, you know, have a startup here with this moon card. The Ten of Cups is also Pisces. Sun and Pisces as well. So let's see what's going on. I got the Five of Pentacles. I got the Five of Pentacles, but I like it in this deck though. I like the Rasta Fry of this deck. Okay, great. 
we got the death card in the heart of your reading like wow that's that's a major purging out of whatever was holding you back for experiencing love or if you had any blockages here with this ace of cups and the moon let's see what else is here Oof, the love is card look at that what a transition sagittarius that's a huge transition three of wands oh my goodness oh my goodness Oof, king of swords so right off the bat i see that someone has been like someone left you all in the darkness here with this moon card starting with the moon card you were having a lot of questions around this situation all right you were doubting whether you gave enough or whether you you were loved or not so there is a lot of questioning right questioning in the darkness this person has definitely left you behind and you still feel their loss you still feel their uh, absence in a sense but it feels like absence you know when they say like absence make the heart grow fonder that's what i'm seeing that that's like the energy that i'm getting but i feel like this was all needed for you <clears throat> sorry wow we're starting again <clears throat> I just started with the readings. It just feels that you you had to go through this lesson, you had to go through this in order to end and transition the past. Because I feel like this five of pentacles, you have been feeling lonely, you have been feeling unloved, you have been feeling, you know, in the dark for a long period of time. God knows, Sagittarius. We've been through this for too long and we all know that and this is actually with this death card it is the ending of that period it has been a difficult difficult period but it's coming to an end and it's something that comes finally within yourself like you want to release things this is the you know yesterday it was like the release all over the place release all expectations release all um all fears all emotions sadness grief <clears throat> anxiety like whatever was holding you back you were actually like okay you know what bring it on i want to release whatever i need to release so you can make space for something new to come in and look at that that's the lovers card so everything that was not serving you this is this is the rising of the phoenix it goes away and only love can come in whether it is new or whether it is <clears throat> Whether it is new or not, it does not matter because it just means that you've released whatever you had to release. You were holding on to things. You were holding on to this why me kind of situation because that's the five of pentacles. Even though in this deck, it just represents a feeling of gratitude, you know, being grateful for the cycle that you've been through. Even though it was a heavy one, it was a dark one. But God knows it was a dark one. All right. This was a very dark cycle. Definitely like this month could have been like very huge, but it could be also like a period of time that you are now facing. And this is the, the, the moment where the Sagittarius energy actually kicks in, where you have to be, you know, positive again, where you have to be optimistic, which, you know, it has been gone for a long time, even though we are a very optimistic sign. Um, it may you know sometimes it's just not always there but this this card does tell you that if you have not showed your gratitude to the universe even through the dark times please do it so you can go to the transitioning because whatever comes after that it's it's real all right this is real passion this is real connection this is union this is the yin and the yang this is coming together with divine guidance there's like even a angel up here so there there is a lot of supervision all right from the divine so whatever you had to go through it was a process you got the three of wands and the king of swords so there is someone here that is on a distance from you there might be physical distance or geographical distance and this person wants to talk to you they have something very important to tell you they made up they made a decision they may have gone through the same process all right in order to find their own happiness so maybe that's why there was like a separation because both of you were going through the process of finding um, the right remedy or the ingredient for yourself to make yourself happy and now there is like this accumulation of both energies which is which is making some kind of a synergy here 
All right, and it, look at that. I got the Queen of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. So, oof, Sagittarius. This is probably the most positive, one of the most positive readings I've done and definitely how it all started here with the moon, the five pentacles, the death, and it goes into the two of cups. So there is this person that wants to offer a, you know, some kind of reconciliation, come back to synergy with you again. Like I said, um, there is something that is going to grow here. The three of wands is mind, body, and soul. So you both are more like your energy frequency is now more on the same level. And that's because you had to go through a deep purging, deep cleansing and purification and put an end to this feeling of feeling neglected, which is very, very important for you. So there's definitely news coming come in. It's going to be a very positive news. Let me tell you that it could be like three days, three weeks. I don't say three months at all. So with the two of cups, this person comes with like the only baggage that they have is that they want to make peace with you, that they want to express the love to you with the love is in the two of cups. That's absolutely amazing. You got the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So it, 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 it gives you, it redirects you to be focused on your career goals. As I said, like make that business plan, make, try to, um, gather as much as information as you can if you want to grow your business because there is a lot of growth anyway if you are growing your own business there is uh, either someone that's going to come in that gives you like solid advice or you need to make very decisive decisions on who to work with with this two of cups so um, it could it could be different but this for me is definitely a love reading all right like like I said Absence makes the heart go fonder, right? That's what it seems like here. So let's see. What are the messages for my dear Saggies? Woo! Clear audience. And you've got life review. Let's take it. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. So as I said, be, pay attention because you're going to receive a lot of ideas that you need to put into fruition and take actual action in. With this Queen of Pentacles, there is a lot of things that you need to do. Organize, all right? Get organized with this Queen of Pentacles. And you do also have life review. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So whatever that represents for you with this death card is definitely something that you need to organize. This five of pentacles. Um, so there is a lot of balance here as well. Like a lot of love. Maybe you need to attract more love in your life or try to make decisions compromising with people as well is what I'm seeing here. All right, so my dear Sadie, it's a wonderful reading. I loved it. I truly loved it. I am going to continue and have a he said, she said spread on Vimeo. So if you want to check that out, go check that out. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you guys so much. Bye.